what gets me up in the morning is doing a good job for my clients, but also it's just something that I can be really proud of, that I'm actually working at the forefront of the energy transition. The UK is doing really well, strides ahead of other countries, um, and it's great to be part of that. My name's Kirsty Cobb and I'm an Associate Director at Arup. I've been an environmental consultant for over 20 years now and I guess the changes that I've seen are the environment really being embedded more in the development of projects from an earlier stage and engineers have become far more aware of environment and sustainability issues and how they need to build them into designs. I'm off to Keeby Power Station today to meet up with my client SSE. We're going to meet up and talk about some of the consultation feedback that we've had recently on the Keeby Next Generation project. So it's a hydrogen fired power station and it's all about decarbonising the electricity network really. So we've just finished holding a series of events in the local community to hear their feedback on the project. Hi Emma, how are you today? Good, thanks. Hi, yes. Kirsty. Hi. It's good to see you again. Yes, and you? I'm the Community Liaison Officer here at Kidby. My job role looks after stakeholder engagement for both our operational assets and our future developments here at site. One of the things that we did was ask the young people what potential ideas they would have for biodiversity net gain within our Kidby site. Yeah. So some of the things that has been brought up is potential for things like tree planting, um, animal and insect habitat, yeah. just trying to improve our green spaces on site as much as possible. Yeah, that sounds really good because we, we obviously need to mitigate for the loss of uh, grass and as well. So we can sort of do some improvement here of, this, of the biodiversity and the species. We've spent the last year developing the initial design and undertaking lots of environmental surveys and impact assessments and it just means that the project outcomes are much better in terms of sustainability as well as the technical design. Quite a variety of people are involved in impact assessments. Some people come from engineering backgrounds, some people have PhDs in air quality but it's a real mix of people. I joined Arab four months ago by a program from the council and for years I lived in a place where people struggle with pollution, environmental issues and I wanted to work in that industry to make even maybe a small change to make a better place for people. We could always do with more people coming into the sector. We need people that are good at listening and talking to people. And that can be quite a different skill set to some of the technical disciplines. I think for the local community, it's an important project. It's the next generation of power stations on the site. It will keep employment on the site for longer. And it's also something they can be really proud of, that it might be that they have the first hydrogen enabled power station in the country. Kibbe Next Generation would mean a lot to our site here. It means that we're future-proofing the site and we're making sure that we can provide power generation to the national grid as well as career opportunities for many years to come. We're really busy. We've got a lot of these exciting energy projects that we're working on. I think a lot of young people are really keen to do something to help us reach net zero, help improve the planet. 